Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Dakota. I am a sophomore at USD studying engineering with a focus in business. Um, I'm from Los Angeles, California, and some things I'm involved with on campus are Torero Tour Guides, Student Ambassadors, Alpha Delta Pi Sorority, and Less Than Three Hip Hop Club. And today, basically, we just want to give you a little insight on what engineering looks like at USD. So without further ado, I'd love to introduce our featured students who will be answering your questions. So starting with Amanda, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Yeah, hi everyone. Um, my name is Amanda Tulolo. I'm also a sophomore, also from Los Angeles, California. Um, I'm studying mechanical engineering and minoring in math. Uh, just a couple of things I'm involved in on campus. Um, um, obviously, Torero Ambassadors, but also tour guides. Um, I'm in Theta Tau, which is our engineering um, fraternity on campus. I'm also part of University Ministry, where I'm a student leader for some retreats and some of the small groups. Hi, guys. Um, my name is Michaela DeVito. I'm from a little bit north of Chicago, Illinois, actually, so Midwest. And then I'm a freshman, obviously kind of undecided about my major right now, but something within engineering for sure. Um, some things I'm involved in, out of state ambassadors, Surf Rider Club, which just started this semester, and then Alpha Delta Pi. Hi guys, I'm Sydney Liu. Um, I'm originally from LA uh, and I am a third year electrical engineering major and I'm minoring in math. I am vice president of SWE right now, which is the Society of Women Engineers. I'm also a part of Theta Tau, which is the engineering uh, fraternity with Amanda. Uh, and I am marketing director of IEEE, which is the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, my name is Harrison Mello. I am a senior or a fourth year I'm here at the University of San Diego. I am majoring in mechanical engineering and minoring in mathematics. I'm originally from Camarillo, California, small, small little north town in the part of LA, um, really tiny. Um, and on campus, I'm involved in a multitude of different things. I'm involved in Torero Tour Guides, as well as Torero Ambassadors, as well as I'm part of a social fraternity, Pi Kappa Phi, as well as part of the Interfraternity Council on campus. I'm also part of the Associated Students of Mechanical Engineers. I'm a part of 3D Printing Club, as well as I'm part of the club water polo and club swimming teams on campus. Awesome. Well, I know Michaela already said she's not really sure as a freshman what she definitely wants to major in within engineering. So I'm wondering from the rest of you, did you all know what you wanted to major in either within engineering or even just you had no idea whatsoever? How was that process for you? Um, anyone? Yeah, um, I actually came in, I thought I was gonna be in mechanical engineering. Uh, when I was touring USD, we just happened to go into the engineering building and I was talking to Sam who like manages the machine shop. And I thought that was so sick that USD was able to provide that for its students. Um, but after taking like all my first year courses, I realized that I hated mechanics and I really liked uh, the electrical side of things. So I went that route. I definitely mm -hmm. feel that. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Harrison. Yeah, I remember my for, thinking back on it yet yeah, now, like that's like e eons ago, four years ago for me. Um, but when I first came to USD, I was actually going to go for a double major in mechanical engineering and architecture uh, to make like kind of a structural engineering kind of path for me. Um, didn't want to do that because that's a lot. That's a lot of credits to take because um, both of those majors are very credit like heavy um, and I just love the more math and like building side of things so I moved towards mechanical at the end of it. Yeah um, for me I was kind of like in the same spot Michaela's in right now. I came in I'm very much a math science person more so than like a writing and reading person so I knew I was like okay engineering sort of for me wasn't entirely sure what major to um, go into and then I took engineering 101 uh, my first semester I was placed in that class and we kind of just explored the different types and all the different fields and um, one of our projects we had, were able to go into the lab to like th uh, laser print something and I just really like that hands-on experience from um, from that class and like I talked to my professor in that class who's actually my advisor now and he was a mechanical engineering major, um, professor 
Um, and so I kind of just talked to him, talked to a bunch of professors and just really enjoyed the, like, the hands-on part of mechanical engineering. And so um, kind of through experience of like first year classes and all of that, that's how I chose my major. That's awesome. Yeah, I definitely, um, for me coming to USD, I came to the admitted students day and I didn't personally want to go into a field of engineering when I um, was coming to college. So what I loved about USD was they had the integrated engineering program, which is what I'm doing, where you could do independent plan of study. And basically you just become super analytical, critical thinker, problem solver, but then you have a focus in something else like medicine or law. For me, it's business. And I get to take like upper division business courses to get my MBA after this. So for me, my classes might look a little different than, <laughs> than other people. But um, what I love about it is like, we all have the same types of classes that first semester, even honestly, the first three semesters are very similar for everyone. So it really gives you room to decide. Um, what were your schedules like that first semester or year? And did you take any classes that really um, made you realize what you wanted to officially major in? I remember my freshman year, I call it the engineering crash course. So basically you have every engineer, like Dakota said, takes like these core set of classes that everyone will have scattered out. So like you have to take engineering 101, you have to take engineering user center design. You have to take engineering circuits. Like it's just all these classes that really help kind of build what you want to go into. And then you start to go into your specific major. Um, I personally love user center design. I think it is great, great engineering. It basically focuses around like thinking about your designs in more of the user standpoint and thinking of the intersectionality of the user and how it can affect everyone else. I found that aspect really creative and like something that is like needs to be addressed right at the get go when it comes to creating and design things because we like it allows you to think more multi dimensionally across the board. Um, but all those classes I think are really great overall, but I just really loved 103 I don't know if anyone else did, but I really did like it. Yeah, I would agree. I really, really enjoyed Engineering 103. Um, Dakota and I were actually in that class together uh, last semester, but it was just really interesting to learn about, you know, the side of engineering that you don't normally think about. You think about engineering as well, a bunch of these technical like aspects, a lot of math, a lot of calculations, um, but there's also this human side behind of it, which is really important, um, like Harrison was saying. Um, but I also really, I, it was funny because I took that class um, the same semester I took statics. Um, which is all about like forces on objects and like building trusses and all this stuff. Um, and it was just interesting to see how like that class, the 103 class about human centered design plays into, you know, a technical class. Um, so just the combination of all these different classes together, I think was really interesting. Yeah, one of the classes that stood out for me my first year was actually engineering 102. Um, which is electromechanical systems design. Uh, and luckily we were in person. So our final project was making an elevator that um, has user input and you press the buttons and it makes the elevator go up a floor, two floors and it turns on lights. And it was just a really cool project. And Dr. Bossy, she doesn't teach her anymore, um, but she was a really great professor. And uh, she also taught my circuits class. Uh, so that really made me lean towards electrical engineering. Yeah, so like basically everyone else said, I really enjoy Engineering 103. I'm in that class this semester, and then I'm going to do 102 next semester, because um, you can kind of take them out of order, I guess. So I'm really enjoying that class. Also, last semester, I did Calc 2, and I was not expecting to like that class at all, because in high school, I really did not enjoy math. So I remember my dad telling me, why are you majoring in engineering if you don't like math? This is not a good idea for you. So then I came in and I'm just like, you know, we'll just take a math class. And if it's not good for you, we can switch. But I ended up really liking that class. So yeah, I'm going to stick with it. That's awesome. Yeah, I definitely had that feeling with a lot of classes. I generally like to challenge myself for no reason. So always in high school, labs were the end of the world for me. I despised them because I could never figure out how to apply lecture to lab. So doing engineering where it's definitely so much more hands-on um, 
definitely um, challenged me and um, like that first semester in 101 when we fully like built a car and had to like drive it for our final design project that was like a big game changer for me because I just realized what I'm capable of and I think that USD does a great job in just not throwing you into a situation really like showing you all that you're capable of and then from the first semester you're already building and learning so many cool things and I think the faculty has a lot to do with that um, for me personally my LLC um, advisor was amazing so basically when you first come to USD you're assigned to a living learning community and then with that living learning community you have a class and the professor for that class becomes your advisor until you declare your major and for me, mine really helped me in just, you know, finding resources on campus and just really giving me the confidence that um, I could do whatever it was I wanted to do. But also um, the Sam, who is kind of like the head of engineering, she was a great advisor for me as well. Did you guys have faculty who really helped you um, kind of pave the way for your path or just gave you guidance that you felt was really valuable? Go for it, Sydney. You go. You got this. <laughs> um, yeah, I think my advisors have been really helpful. My assigned advisor for my major is Dr. Lamori, but I don't really reach out to him too often. Um, but I think the main person that has really helped me is Rhonda Harley. Uh, she is the best person to go for resume advice, professional development. She is heavily involved in all, all things engineering and the career development um, center. And she is just like a really great pep talker. When I went to the SWE conference, it was like this big national conference. Before I went in, she gave all the girls a pep talk and she would take time to like personally coach these girls before these big interviews for the jobs. And I thought that was a really amazing uh, thing for her to do. So definitely Rhonda Hartley. I'm just gonna echo everything Sydney said. Rhonda's amazing, but I'm not gonna steal, snatch her answer because we don't have time to me to talk about Rhonda more, um, but Rhonda's awesome. But as a senior, I think you, like I've interacted with a lot of different professors on campus. Um, I've had, so my academic advisor is Dr. Gibbons. She's lovely. She's an amazing resource to go to. Um, but I've also had other advisors, not just in my own particular major or who I'm assigned to. Um, I always like, most engineering professors across any discipline, either electrical, integrated, industrial, will always have great advice for you across the board. I remember going to DK, um, Dr. Kim, my uh, my freshman and sophomore year, just because he's an amazing professor to talk to. He's really nice. Um, he's just an amazing person just in general. But the professor who I talk to now and is more like my academic advisor is Dr. Jakovitz, um, because currently right now he's my thesis advisor and he's my research advisor. So he's very much a great resource. He's the head of the mechanical engineering department. He's absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal person. He has great resources across the board and he really pushes you to think outside of the box when it comes to thinking. Um, I think most professors really want to see you like either become the best person you can be and really promote and become like an even better engineer overall. Yeah, just to echo that, I'm very lucky to have Dr. Jacobitz as my advisor. He was my LLC professor, and that is when I declared a major, he stayed my advisor, which I'm very lucky to have him for. Um, but as like a sophomore, I'm kind of like looking into like career paths after graduation, kind of seeing like what internships I should go for and stuff like that. And he has been absolutely amazing for that. Um, not only is a great professor academically, but also just, you know, being there to be like, hey, there's this job opportunity, this research opportunity, this is projects that I've done in the past, um, kind of just giving me this insight behind the scenes of like, this is what you could do with your career and with your education and just really encouraging you to like go out and be curious about stuff and really search for what you're looking for. Um, so he's been a really great resource for me as well. Well, I guess I haven't been here long enough to meet, you know, <laughs> These amazing professors, yeah, but I will say that my, my advisor is so amazing. Dr. Chen, I don't know if any of you know for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's my engineering 101 professor. So as I said before, I'm very indecisive. So picking classes for this semester, oh my God. 
I leaned on her so much. I had so many meetings with her and she was like, well, you know, if you're not sure, maybe don't take Calc 3 yet. If you want to do industrial, so then you don't have to do all the harder math, you know. So she has been super helpful. Definitely going to do that again for next semester. Yeah, so for sure, Dr. Chen, yeah. I love Dr. Chen and there's a class I want to take with her next semester because uh, I'm not graduating this year. I'm graduating. I have one more one more semester left and she's teaching like a sustainability class. And I'm like, oh, I really want to take that class because it sounds so good and so much fun. Just to put that in there. Yeah, Dr. Chen is the advisor for SWE, so I'm in contact with her a lot. Um, but she's just always on top of her stuff and very straightforward, which makes things just like very easy to digest. Um, doesn't waste time, and I love that about her. Uh, but yeah, Dr. Ch I also had like two other classes with Dr. Chen. Um, I took statics with her, and I love that course because her note packets were just so straightforward, and it was just a really easy class. I love how much we all are like in love with our professors. Um, it really makes such a difference. And even like the smallest things, like my LC advisor, Dr. Khalil, that I was talking about earlier, um, she gave us a survey like halfway through the semester just to see like where students were at, um, how they were um, dealing with how they would study with the class and if she should change anything. And one student just to be like funny, was like, I would like this class a lot more if you would bring us donuts. So from that point on, once a week, she would bring us donuts to class just to be nice. Like, I don't know. I feel like the professors within engineering are so like sweet. And I don't know, they just really want to put a smile on our faces at all times. Like, I don't know if you guys have also gotten that vibe, but everyone is just so nice. But besides just our classes, I know some of you have already talked about um, opportunities in your careers. Have you guys done any internships, had any jobs, and how did you get those, like talking to Rhonda, or um, if you could give us a little insight on that? As a senior, um, I have done, so I've done a couple of internships. The one I just did recently, I got through um, the school, which is through the Department of Defense, working for a company called NAFSI, um, which works at the local San Diego Naval Base. Um, so it's a very, like, the thing I love about engineering in general and, like, having great connections within the engineering field is that, like, you can go anywhere. Whatever you want to do, you could really connect and go and do stuff that if you want to go and try it out for an internship, you can go and try it out. Like, if you want to go into the manufacturing field, you can. If you want to go into environmental, you can. Um, there's a lot of different areas, like Sydney said, Rhonda, like lovely career development center. She'll help you kind of try to figure out where you want to go. Um, but also all the classes that you take are supposed to kind of heighten your interest. Um, I think having taking different classes that are outside of your major really helps kind of narrow down what you kind of want to do when you're graduating. Um, here as well, but yeah. Yeah, um, so this past summer, I had a summer internship at Siemens, which is like a, I was working in their like building automation section um, and I got the internship from the USD Engineering Career Fair in the fall of my sophomore year. So that was probably around November. And so I don't think a lot of students know this, but the time to really start applying for summer internships is really in that November, December, fall, yeah, January. Even though it seems early, a lot of recruiters are looking out right during that time. Um, and definitely take advantage of all the career fairs. I think freshman year, I was going to career fairs as well, uh, just for the fun of, or not not the fun of it, just to gain experience talking to recruiters and stuff. And like dressing up in like nice business professional clothing, have your resume all lined out, like in a, in a very nice like resume portfolio or like the little, you, you know what I mean. But yeah, definitely get out there, go to those, there we go. Get out to those uh, resume or career fairs and put yourself out there. Definitely. Um, I really think that the engineering department at least really has us focusing on our careers from the second that we step foot on campus. Um, they also really make it easy for us. Like we have a program called Handshake where 
there's people looking for specifically USD students and they have all of your information. Like I didn't even know this um, about like a semester ago, but I was just having people reach out to me on this program handshake and I was getting emails about it. And I was so confused because I'd never signed up for that. And um, already I have people messaging me like, I really like how you are doing engineering and business. Here's this opportunity, um, like a summer internship for this summer. Would you be interested? Please send us your resume. And I went to the career fair and I met with them. And um, yeah, the opportunities are not too hard to get. Like there's effort from both ends, like your end and their end, which is not something that I expected um, coming to USD. And for me, since I am doing business, I was looking for internships more in the business department. And I already have a social media internship with undergraduate admissions that I've had since last year. So having a paid internship that first year is like really awesome. And I personally did not expect that whatsoever coming to USD. So um, that's definitely been a really valuable experience for me throughout this whole thing. So um, just to wrap things up, I just want to hear from each of you what has been the most meaningful experience related to your potential career path or major. Um, not it doesn't have to be your classes. It could be a Torero trek or anything like that. Um, just what is something that's really stuck out to you during your time here? I can go first since I've been here the shortest amount of time. Um, so I went to my first career and internship fair a few weeks ago, just to kind of scope out the scene. I read up on a few of the companies that were going to be there just because I had always wanted to find out like what you do with an engineering degree after you graduate, you know, because it always seems so general and far away, but now it's, you know, it's getting there. So um, it was just really cool to actually talk to people who worked at these companies and say that you're interested and find out, you know, what you could actually be doing with your life after you graduate. So for sure. Um, I think for me, it's like the most impactful experience, I guess, has been like being able to reach out to these professors and have them like willingly talk to me like all the time. Um, I think being able to reach out to them and talk to them about their experience in at, like in their work field, before they came to USD, um, seeing if that's like really something I want to do, um, but just having their them there like all the time, twenty four seven, just really there for to support us and like they're not going to make us feel bad for reaching out to them and like taking up some of their time. They're just genuinely there to like help us and figure out what we want to do. Sydney, you go. Oh, I'll go for it. Okay. Um, so as a senior old, you know, go looking back on it now, I've had a lot of experience at USD and I've really cherished a lot of them. So it's difficult to figure out like one specific, like most meaningful moment. So I got two. Um, I feel like one of like things that really kickstarted my career and really got me thinking in the engineering mindset is going on a Torero trek. Um, for those who don't know, Torero Tracks are opportunities for students to go and visit companies in person. Um, currently, right now, they're hosted virtually, but you get to talk to recruiters, you get to talk to people who are actually working there. I went on Torero Trek up to Los Angeles, and we went to a structural engineering company called ARUP, as well as Walt Disney Imagineering. For any of those people who do not know me, I love Disney, and I love the Walt Disney Imagineering company. I would love to work for them. Disney hit me up. Um, but it really put things in perspective of where I want to be. Like, this is like, I wanted to go in down this direction and this path, and I need to step up my game in order to become the best engineer I can be so I can apply to these big companies. So that was one of the most meaningful moments that really did turn and like accelerated my engineering career path. Um, the second one is more of just most meaningful in advice. Um, I believe that most engineering students like should like you take a lot of classes together build and you build a community in class and that's something that I feel is really meaningful and most of the times these aren't in easy classes these are more in the difficult classes so when you're you I challenge anyone who does do engineering that step out of your side of your comfort zone and take a difficult class with a group of friends just because you really get to bond together as well as you get to learn something some of my most memorable memorable like moments in class 
are in difficult classes that aren't the easiest in the world um, or not ones that you sail through. Um, those are the classes I feel like that are really kind of push your intellectual thinking and really promote um, the creative and innovative side of engineering. I think one of my most memorable experiences was going to the SWE National Conference um, the fall semester of my sophomore year. At USD, it's really nice because a lot of our classes are evenly mixed, like 50% women, 50% male. So I never really felt like I was a minority, I guess, in the engineering community. Um, but like whenever I told anyone like, oh, I'm gonna be majoring in electrical engineering, they'd be like, oh yes, like women in STEM, go women, you know what I mean? Um, but I never really felt like I was definitely one of the minorities um, until like my summer internship, uh, at Siemens, I got there and I was basically like the only female engineering intern in my little cohort. Um, and that was just like a shock to me because like even all the older guys that I worked with, there was like no female technicians or anything. And I was like, whoa, so this is the reality and this is what every everybody was preparing me for basically. Um, but going to the SWE National Conference, it was just really amazing to see so many women there that are all striving towards the same professional goals as you um, and that they're there to support you. And that was just a really amazing thing to see. Definitely, those were all such amazing experiences and just goes to show how amazing um, our engineering program is in creating like holistic individuals who can really become, or we are really well-rounded, I feel like. I feel like we've really been prepared in so many different aspects of our lives, um, not just building a car, for example. So thank you all so much for doing this. Um, if any of you watching have any questions whatsoever, please comment them down below. Um, we'll either answer in the comments or if there's enough questions, we can make a second video. So thank you so much, everyone. Bye.